This morning, the jury is seated in former President Donald Trump's criminal trial in New York, but there's still work to be done. Before opening statements can begin, and ABC's Andrew Fujii reports. This morning, the jury is set for the Trump hush money trial. Seven men and five women will decide whether the former president falsified business records to cover up a payment to porn star Stormy Daniels to hide their alleged affair from voters before the 2016 election. On the jury, a physical therapist, a security engineer, an investment banker, a man who works for an eyewear company, and juror number 11, a woman who openly expressed her views about Trump. With the former president looking on, she told the court, I don't like his persona. He is just very selfish and self-serving. I don't really appreciate that in any public servant. How he carries himself in public, it's not my cup of tea. The woman acknowledged she doesn't like Trump, but she pledged to be fair. Also on the jury, two lawyers who, with their expertise, could potentially hold extra sway. As for the jury foreman, he works in sales and said he gets his news from the New York Times and watches Fox News and MSNBC. Trump, leaving court, railed against the proceedings. It's a shame. And I'm sitting here for days now, from morning till night, in that freezing room. Freezing. Everybody was freezing in there. And all for this. Two jurors selected earlier in the week were removed by the judge yesterday. One voice concerned about her identity becoming public. The other failed to reveal his arrest in the 1990s for tearing down political advertisements. What's next? Five more alternate jurors are needed, and opening statements could come Monday. Andrea Fuji, ABC News, New York. Trump's attorney reportedly asked the prosecution to provide the names of the first three witnesses that will be called next week, but the prosecution said no, out of concern that Trump would start posting about them on social media.